When Daisy Palmer plays doctors and nurses, her teddies don't just get a few plasters, but intravenous lines, cannulas and dressings. At just six years old, this little girl has learnt very young what it means to receive constant medical attention. Born with a rare condition that prevents the digestion of any food or drink, her life depends on the nutrients delivered by her specialist 24-hour drip. Nigel, we're looking at a picture of Daisy's small intestine here. How does it differ to a normal one? Well, the first thing is that it would be about half the diameter. And it normally moves food through, so it's folded. You can see nice little folds. But that's just like, like a lead pipe. It's featureless. So nothing can be pushed through that way. So that's going to give her a lot of discomfort and pain. And she won't be able to absorb food to grow. And, and that's why she needs this special Hickman line, as it's called, straight into her heart yes, to exactly. deliver the nutrients she needs. Yeah, exactly. I mean, she can't get any food or nutrient through that. So what we've done is we've put a line into her heart and all the nutrients go straight into that, uh, into that drip. Now totally dependent on her arterial line, Daisy has been at the Royal London Hospital for the past six weeks, even receiving some schooling there. But she's desperate to get home to her big sister Megan, and the only way she'll be able to do that is if her mum and dad learn how to cope with all her complex medical needs. That's quite intense for you, because this is the sort of work that intensive care nurses do. Yeah, it's, it's a lot to take on board as a mum. Um, when you've, you're not trained as a nurse, um, but we do it. Tracy is also running the Brentwood Half Marathon next weekend to raise money for the Pseudo Obstruction Research Trust, a charity aiming to fund a national register and much needed research into this little known condition. Daisy, meanwhile, has the simple desires of any little girl. What are your favourite things normally? What are you missing at the moment? Ice cream and chocolate. Ice cream and chocolate, is that what you'd really like to be eating again? Yeah. And from a little girl who has coped with so much, it really doesn't seem like a lot to ask. Emma Walden, London Tonight at the Royal London Hospital in Whitechapel.